Let's talk about the raw politics of former Clinton White House legal advisor on lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered issues, Richard Socarides. Also, Nancy Fodenauer, president of Media Speak Strategies and former senior advisor to John McCain's presidential campaign. Um, Richard, what about this Pentagon review? I mean, it was obviously very comprehensive, very detailed. Um, what happens now? Well, I think, you know, first of all, today was really an extraordinary day in the history of this. We had, for the first time, this nine-month, comprehensive, impartial study done by the Pentagon and endorsed by Secretary Gates and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mullen, which said not only was this the right thing to do, but that it could be done seamlessly, that it would have no negative adverse consequences to the military. And in fact, uh, it would be a net positive in terms of national security, in terms of military effectiveness, in terms of the integrity of the force. So I think, you know, we should just understand what an important thing this was today in the, in the history of trying to get this repealed. What we're going to look at next is uh, there are going to be hearings on Thursday and Friday. And then there's going to be a vote probably next week, and it will be up to the Senate. You know, this, this repeal has already passed the House, so it will be up to the Senate uh, to decide uh, whether or not this will go forward. And, and the concern, of course, now is that because they have these Senate procedural rules where any one senator or certainly a group of Republican senators can block uh, forward movement, that a procedural hurdle right. will be thrown in, in front of this. Nancy, you oppose repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. What do you make of the fact that 70% of the service members survey apparently don't have a problem with getting rid of the policy? Well, you know, I think there, there, it'll take a couple of days to peel back the layers on this survey because obviously the, some of the questions are about how the entire thing was framed. But the most important judgment is does this help or hinder our military effectiveness? And on that one, the jury is still out. I mean, the most important arbiters of this are the four service leaders. So whether you're looking at the, you know, the Marines or the Air Force or the Army or the Navy, do they believe that this will improve our combat effectiveness? I Not mean, one of the four has endorsed this. Not Nancy. only that, the percentage, please, the percentage of people who are the most concerned about this are the people who are in combat situations. So you've got m Marines so you're and discounting, Army Air Force, you're discounting Mike the, Mullen, the chairman of the uh, Joint... You're discounting I'm, I'm Mike Mullen, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, I'm saying, and Bob Gates. I'm, I'm not discounting. What I'm saying is the, the people charged with offering independent, objective views of combat readiness are the heads of the four, the four service leaders. Not a single one of them has endorsed it. The Marine Commandant has raised well, we're gonna, serious we're gonna see, concerns, we're gonna see, and so we're gonna have the people uh, in Nancy, combat. Nancy, we're going to see, you know, okay, later Richard, this week. Richard, what about that? I mean, we're going to see Anderson and Nancy later this week exactly what the, the, uh, what the service chiefs have to say. But I think you, I think, I don't understand how anybody could say after this most comprehensive study, I mean, there have been lots of, there have already been 22 studies of this, and this is the most comprehensive, the most impartial study of this, which is, which found, you know, conclusively that there would be no issues, that, the, that service members supported this. Uh, so I don't see how anybody could say that there's that 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 there's any there's no dispute left here. What I fear that, is that's that not Senator true. no, there's definitely <laughs> there, listen there, that, there's no there, all of the arguments against this repeal have fallen away. There is that, nothing left. I fear that what John McCain is doing right now is he's trying to relitigate the election, unfortunately, and he is just standing in the way of this well, that, that, because that, that, the Republicans see this as a win for Obama. But let me no, tell you, no, 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 that's is incredibly is not a disrespectful well, of someone who has actually served. Nancy, in combat and you must distinguish between the opinion of people who sit behind desks and the people who are fighting and dying for listen, us. Listen, I have those a lot individuals of have, have raised respect. serious listen, concerns and listen, we I, should listen to I those. I have a lot of respect for This is about Senator politics McCain, and Senator, the lame duck section, se session. But, the only reason we're doing politics. this now what, what, when, we've, when, we've got two, when we're fighting two wars is because of politics. Now we understand politics, politics matters, but it should not Trump concerns about military Okay, Nancy, got it. Richard, I want you to be able to respond. Unfortunately, it is about politics, and it's <laughs> about, <laughs> it's, it, we, what, what Senator McCain has to realize is that the time for this has come. So I think, Nancy, I would urge you, I, I mean, I have a lot of respect for him, too. His position on this keeps shifting. First, he wanted to hear from the military. Then when the military said it was the right thing to do, he wanted a study. When the study said it was the right thing to do, now he wants another study. I mean, there is no escaping that he is just being contrary on this because he doesn't want to see President Obama 
Obama, uh, you know, have some kind of win on this. But this will not be a win for President Obama. This will be a win for basic American fairness for the, and for the Constitution. And I, I, you know, people who care about this ought to call Senator McCain and call the other Republicans, Senator Collins, Senator Snow, who are very crucial to this right now, and urge there. them to do the fair and right thing. Senator McCain has always said he wanted to hear from the four service leaders. Not a single one of them has endorsed moving forward at this time when we're fighting two right. wars. There's just no reason Th that's to actually implement not what he this that's now actually not except what he said back in 2000. <laughs> It's actually not d d what he said actually in 2006. He said he talked about military leadership. He didn't cite the four, you know, he didn't discount well, he the chairman of the Joint Chiefs. He didn't discount the Secretary of Defense. Well, he has not, also not cited the four service leaders. And, and frankly, I'd like to hear from them. I mean, when we have not seen a single one of them endorse this, well, and when, we're going to hear from them. And do you think if, if we hear from them, we gotta, we gotta, if we hear from them Friday, we, will it then be okay? If we hear from them Friday and they say we can I, go I forward, because I think that's what we'll say. Of, I think I, I what would, they will say okay. on Friday is that we can go forward, that this is doable, that, that there may be some objections, but it's the right thing to do and it's the right thing it, for the military. The right, so we'll send right? we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. we got to wait until Friday and we're out of time, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Nancy Fodenhauer, appreciate you. your time. Richard Sakharides as well.